chat with Brent Darnell, who teaches communication skills, people skills, and emotional intelligence. Brent, you say these last few months have been full of so much stress. It's been like the perfect storm for all kinds of issues to be coming to the surface. It is. I mean, you're isolated. You don't have the, the human connection that you normally have. So, you, you know, there's people that are drinking more, abusing drugs more, uh, just going into states of depression or anxiety more because the outlets that you normally have, you don't have it. And, and the thing we have to really be cognizant of, number one, is reach out to people during this time if you need help or if you if you're, know some people that may be falling into those categories, reach out and make sure they're okay. Uh, but also there's some, some post-traumatic stress that's going to go on. Even we, when we get back to normal, you know, the, the people that struggle in these areas of mental health and anxiety and depression, and, and uh, it, it's not going to just snap on and go away after they go back to work or go back to their normal routines. It, it lingers. So it's about really being cognizant of that and checking in. And, and this is I, not just for men, we should say. The PTSD is really anybody, right? This Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and I'd like to offer everyone, there's a, I have a free emotional intelligence test that you can take. And one of the categories that it may find you're in is burnout. So it, it, it checks several different emotional competencies and it will indicate uh, whether you're in burnout or not. And if you just go to brentdarnell.com forward slash resources, the first thing there is, a, is an emotional intelligence test and you fill it out and then you'll graph your own graph and then put, you know, you'll, you'll figure out what patterns or what profiles that, that you're seeing there. Uh, and then it walks you through some things to think about how it's affecting your life. And uh, then some, some real simple resources. And you can just Google those things. How do I be better at emotional self-awareness or emotional expression or my own assertiveness? You know, um, we, we find that people that tend to self-sacrifice, they'll put other people's needs ahead of their own. They have really high empathy and lower assertiveness. Well, you've got to balance those more. And we will talk more about balance and communication in the next episode of the Help and Healing Hangout.